A biobank is a collection of specimens. I think we can think about this very much like a financial institution. We all save money for long periods of time, and we deposit that money into a bank so that we could use it for ongoing projects uh, at some point, and especially if we have emergencies uh, or we have something that we need to do, we can use that money right away uh, for the sorts of things that we want to do. So a biobank is very similar to that. It's a collection of samples, so it's blood, tissue, urine, that we collect over a very long period of time from many, many patients. Uh, and we can take those and deposit those into a safe place at the institution so that we can use those for ongoing projects. Uh, and at some point, when we have something that's really exciting that we need to do, or we want to do something quickly, we can go to kind of our bank, pull out the samples and introduce those and use them for projects uh, very quickly. So the Mayo Clinic Biobank is an, a tremendous resource for the institution. We've been collecting samples now for over eight years. We've collected those from a very large number of patients over a long period of time and have been depositing those into kind of a, an institutional safe place, our bank, uh, for use of later time. We've collected samples here at Mayo in Rochester, we've collected those in Florida, and we've been collecting samples uh, from patients in Arizona uh, with a collaboration with Mountain Park uh, uh, Healthcare System. So we've been collecting those for uh, a long period of time. So we're at the point now where by the end of this year, we will have collected samples from over 50,000 Mayo Clinic patients. Uh, all of those samples now are available to all investigators at the institution uh, so that they can use those for ongoing projects. And for us, when we have exciting things that we need to do, when we need to do things very quickly, we know that those samples are going to be there so that we can uh, use them uh, for the work that needs to be done here for our patient population at Mayo. The technology is, is evolving so rapidly today that we can begin doing things today that we never would have, have imagined that we'd be able to do in the past. So access to these biospecimens gives us the ability with the technology that we have today to really understand disease in a way that we've never been able to uh, do that. But again, we need the samples. We need blood samples, we need tissue, we need urine. These are the specimens that really gives us a window into what might be happening uh, for these patients. And those are the samples that, that really will allow us to understand and develop all the tools that we need to do over time. Without these samples, we really can't make those discoveries. This is key to what we need at Mayo Clinic. This will be the largest collection, um, uh, certainly at the institution, but it will be one of a kind uh, in, in the country uh, in terms of having uh, the, the, the number of samples and the number of patients that we have within our biobank. The second that's interesting or unique uh, is that rather than collecting a variety of different disease groups, we've actually been collecting samples from patients that are relatively healthy and those that represent a broad range of different diseases. So this really becomes a resource that everyone at the institution can use. It's not directed towards just one specific disease. It's actually directed to all of medicine and all of disease uh, in general. The other important part of this is that patients give consent to um, give us access to their medical record. So we have access to the medical record in the past, we have access to the medical record in the future, so we will have an ongoing timeline of what's happened with those individuals over time, and on average we have about 10 years worth of medical history for every patient that we have, which means that we have a tremendous amount of information that's tied to the sample. So it's the medical information tied with the sample is what gives the real value in our ability to do the type of research that we would otherwise not be able to do. This is one of its kind, not only at the institution here, it's available to the entire institution. We have access to the medical records, we have access to samples, we have access to the community, uh, and we've made the decision now to offer that externally to outside investigators as well. So this is really a national resource in addition to a resource here at, at Mayo Clinic. So our ability to discover new things about disease, new treatment options for disease, new directions that we can go for disease will be unparalleled. We, wouldn't, uh, we would have capabilities that we've never had before, and our investigators here at Mayo would have access to information that they've never had before. So our goal is to accelerate research. How quickly can we generate the information? How quickly can we get that into our patient practice? How quickly can we can begin affecting care for our patients? That's our goal. So the reason for the biobank was to accelerate research. The reason for uh, acquiring additional data is to accelerate research. And our ultimate goal is to really affect patient care as quickly as possible.